welcome to Boreas Ponds. It's my fourth time here in the last year. You saw Dakota in the intro, who's right behind me, with his beautiful Hornbeck and Subaru Crosstrek. And what you didn't see was me carrying 40 pounds of gear and a 40 pound kayak. <laughs> this thing is actually insane that I'm on. But we're here camping for the night and I thought I would make a video showing off this gorgeous, gorgeous preserved body of water. <sighs> wow. I'm Jonathan Zaharic, guys. Welcome back to the channel. And behind me is actually Boreas Mountain, the last mountain that you guys saw me bushwhack on. Dakota, what do you think? Dude, so good. Can't beat it. So good. Beautiful Hornbeck. It's better without the Canadian wildfires. To show you what we got here, we have Alan right there. To the left, we got Cheney Cobble, North River, and Wrist Mountains. We have Skylight, and Marcy, Haystack, Basin, Little Nipple Top, Saddleback, Gothics, and Pyramid. Colvin and Blake there in the distance with nipple top and there's Dix. Well, I think that's it for the sunset. Yeah. Well, it's gorgeous we'll, though. We'll have better luck in the morning. All right, let's head back. A little bit of color. That's nice. The bugs are actually terrible, so I put my hard shell on, so they can't get me, but they can get through my hands. They can get through my hands and get through uh, my pants, because my pants aren't really proof anything. Mm. It's gonna be buggy. It's gonna be a buggy night, man. You guys need to see these mosquitoes right now. Look at this. These are all mosquitoes. Every one of these. We're gonna set up our tents, so. <laughs> not today. Whew. Right. In the tent. I'll tell you guys more about this tent in a couple minutes. Do you hear that? There's a lot of coyotes in the woods around us. And the mosquitoes are crazy. But uh, not a sponsor. The best hazy New England IPA. Good fortune. Common roots. So, I wanted to have a fire. I want to get star shots, I want to do all this crap, but the fact that it's mosquito getting outside of this tent makes me want to do nothing. Do you hear that? Yeah, and those coyotes. There's something under my tent, do you hear that? We'll see what happens here. <sighs> Oh my goodness. It's kind of humid in here. I am terrified to get out of this tent. I had to pee once. And I was like, oh, the mosquitoes are going to be gone. It's cold. Uh-uh. Wow. But well, this is my new four-season monopole single-person tent. Seems like it's holding up pretty well with the water. It did rain a little bit. We got up at 5 in the morning to check out the sunrise, and that's when it started raining. And we just went back to sleep. So this video didn't turn out exactly how I wanted it to, but that's okay. It's the Adirondacks for you. And we're still going to go for a morning paddle, I think. Yeah. Okay. So, how'd you sleep? Slept well. Glad we had the tents? Sure do. Sure glad.
You know what? I think it is time. I am going to tell you guys about this tent. Both this tent and my coat are from the Japanese brand Fine Track. They've been sending me some stuff to test out because they are a new up and coming mountaineering brand from Japan. If it can't handle the Adirondacks, then what good is it? This here is the Camino one pole tent. Now, if any of you are looking for a new one person tent, I actually think this might be something you should consider. This is a four season tent. It weighs just around 890 grams. For a four season tent weighing under a kilogram, that's actually pretty awesome. So I, first of all, was blown away by how lightweight this tent is. So taking it down, putting it all back together and putting it in its bag that it came in is honestly a piece of cake. Because if you're in really bad conditions, you wanna be able to set it up quickly and take it down fast. One thing that sets this tent apart from a lot of other brands out there is its high quality construction. It's made from a 30 denier ripstop 66 nylon fabric, which makes it extremely durable, but also waterproof and breathable. And the bottom of the tent is even made with a higher waterproof rating almost twice as high so that you can stay dry even when the ground is wet. But it is super simple to set up. Oh, and by the way, this raincoat, I'm actually not just saying this, but this is absolutely the best raincoat I've ever owned. I was paddling in the pouring rain for an hour straight last weekend and the water was just beating right off. There was no saturation through the material at all. I honestly think Fine Track is possibly producing some Gore-Tex Pro killers. So if you're looking for a new raincoat or you're looking for a new tent to tackle any season here in the Adirondacks, then go to Fine Track, check them out in the description below. They're taking a really deep look into the science of it all. With that being said, let's go for a paddle. This is actually crazy. Got my breakfast with me. There's Alan. The summit is the nipple on the right. There's Skylight and Marcy. Haystack and Basin. Barely see Gothics now. And there's Dakota. And that's Dix all the way back there in the distance. I'll probably end the video here. Big thank you to my Patreon supporters. If you're not on Patreon, well, it's a way you can uh, help support this little channel of mine here and gain access to a ton of exclusive Adirondack hiking content. If you're not a Patreon member, you certainly are missing out if you love my channel. So, <sighs> gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. All right, I'm Jonathan Zaharik. We'll see you next time.